Hey first graders, your big book for the week is called The Gingerbread Girl. And down here where it says typically who the author is, it says adapted by Jack Henry Paris, illustrated by Alexi Notchev. So when it says adapted, it means that this person, Jack Henry Paris, he wrote this book, but he was not the original author of the story. So it is retold. This is a version that he wrote um, based off of another version of the story. So The Gingerbread Girl is based off of a folktale, The Gingerbread Boy. We're going to read the back to see what the author wants us to know. Yummy gingerbread. A gingerbread girl cookie jumps up and runs away as soon as she's baked. Is she in store for a pleasant adventure or a dangerous one? So take a minute to think. Do you think this is going to be a dangerous adventure for the gingerbread girl? Or do you think it will be a happy adventure? What will happen to the gingerbread girl in this story? Listen closely as I read The Gingerbread Girl. The Gingerbread Girl. Once upon a time, an old woman made a gingerbread girl cookie. She gave her eyes and a mouth and popped her into the oven. When the gingerbread girl was ready, the woman pulled the pan out of the oven. But much to her surprise, I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, look at what's happening in the picture. The gingerbread girl jumped up and ran out the door. Stop, gingerbread girl, stop, cried the woman. I want to eat you up. But the gingerbread girl just laughed and shouted, Run, 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 you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Here's the picture. Look at what's happening in this picture. The gingerbread girl ran by a little boy. Stop, gingerbread girl, stop, the boy cried. I want to eat you up. But the gingerbread girl just laughed and yelled. Run, run, run. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Look at which characters are chasing her in this part. If you said the horse and the cow, they're looking at her and the woman and the boy are chasing her. <clears throat> then the gingerbread girl ran by a horse and a cow. Stop, gingerbread girl. Stop, they cried. We want to eat you up. But the gingerbread girl just laughed and cried. Run, run, run. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Then the gingerbread girl came to a big river. Oh no, what should I do? She cried, I can't swim. I wonder what she's going to do if she can't swim. How will she get across the river? Mm. Now a hungry fox happened to be nearby. I can swim, the fox said. Just jump up on my back. I'll take you across the river. So the gingerbread girl jumped up on the fox's back. The fox started to swim across the river. Soon the water got very deep. The water is at my feet, said the gingerbread girl. Then 
jump up on my nose, said the fox. So the gingerbread girl jumped up on the fox's nose. What is going to happen here? Look closely at that picture. Then the fox saw his chance. He tossed the gingerbread girl up in the air. Then he opened his mouth and... The gingerbread girl tumbled right in. Yum, said the fox. That was the best gingerbread girl I ever ate. Oh my goodness. So if you said this might be a little bit dangerous, you were right. Remember at the end it said, do you think it will be pleasant or dangerous? The adventure of the gingerbread girl. It ended up being dangerous. Why did it end up being a dangerous adventure? Think in your head, why was it a dangerous adventure? Because the fox ended up eating her. The fox was a tricky fox. How did the fox trick the girl? Think for a minute. How did the fox trick the girl? He tricked her because he was telling her he would help her, right? On this part of the book. He said, I can help you get across the river. So there she is. He's, the fox is tricking her, saying, I'll help you get across the river. Then he's saying, scooch up a little closer so your feet aren't in the water. And then he tossed her in the air and he ate the gingerbread girl. Oh my goodness. So that was the first reading of The Gingerbread Girl. Later in the week, we're going to do a second reading of this book, The Gingerbread Girl.